Well, good luck. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I, do you need anything else from me? The purpose of our visit was mostly in order to give you a warning and to update you on the current status of our group. Um, well, I appreciate the, the status update, and I appreciate the warning. And I also, I also mourn for Alpert and pray for his safe recovery, for his quick recovery, Caitlin, Kathleen. Um, but at the meantime... I don't know what else I can do for you. Uh, your intentions to recruit a dragon seem absolute lunacy to me. But if you feel you can speak with that beast, then by all means, enjoy yourselves. Okay, well, stay safe, uh, Councilman Zorog. I shall, and please come back uh, unharmed. We shall try. Do it, do they want to have angry sex on his desk? I think that he wouldn't appreciate that. Fairly certain he'd hit you for that. <laughs> okay, well, maybe later then. <clears throat> okay, so from Wormwick to the mountains, it's three days. Ugh. Oh, great. All right. Well. Well, if you have no other plans, I say we set off immediately. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys want to sleep for the night first, or <laughs> the quicker we get there is more beneficial for my part myself. But I'm I'm fine with traveling and resting on the way there if you are all willing to make that attempt. So yeah, I'm not in need of sleep really. All right. So you guys are just gonna head out then? Yeah. You can do. All right. Set a marching order. Uh, John, uh, which way are we going? Uh, south to north. So, uh, I'm sorry, north to south. North will be front, south will be back. Alright. Then John, me, probably Catley, or, yeah, Denoron, Dothar. No. Yeah. And Greg in the back. Yeah. Alrighty, um, you travel through the night and into the morning, um, nothing really, uh, bothers you on your way, is the first part of your journey is just on, is just on the, uh, main road. Uh, the second part of your journey happens, uh, to happen during the rest of the day, and, uh, you are keenly aware that things are very quiet around here. Uh, you don't hear crickets, you don't hear birds chirping during the day, you really don't hear a whole lot, and it's sort of unnerving to the elves. Um... But you wander on, and uh, nightfall comes on the second day of travel. Um, if you guys want to sleep, you guys want to keep on pressing. If you're going to keep on pressing, you're going to start making endurance checks. I mean, obviously we're going to take rests. I yeah, we need to avoid that. Okay, so you guys are going to sleep on the second day, then? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to assume the same watch, then. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. Yes. All right. Um, nothing happens on that night. Uh, Chris, go ahead and make your d20. 14. Fourteen. Uh, your vision starts to become disordered, and your eyes uh, start to turn a, a pale shade of gray. Um, you now have the ability of dark vision. Yeah, we didn't win there. <laughs> Sweet question mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you travel onward for the day uh, <laughs> through the fields and crossing over to another main road and towards the mountains. Uh, this last nightfall occurs before, at the base of the mountains, uh, right where um, right where you remember the cave entrance to be. Um, I don't know if you want to go in during the night, during the day, or what. Does anyone know what sleep schedule dragons tend to keep? Nope. Oh. Unless we, well, I guess we might make some sort of a check for that knowledge, like, I don't know, dungeoneering maybe? Yeah, but I did do a nature check. Oh, nature. nature check. Okay, so that's Kaleen's territory. God, 16. You've got Fuck, man. no idea if that dragon's going to be there or not. Well, let's you go in and at least see. Well, if he's asleep, then we can just leave him until he wakes up. So, Alright, so let's go in, I guess? Yeah. Um, right. Okay. I don't know how your dragon friend's going to react, so hopefully he doesn't eat us. Hmm. 
By the way, does he have a name? I don't think he ever told us. All right, so you guys go into the cave of the of said dragon, and uh, walking into the cave, it seems to be undisturbed since the last time um, since the last time you mouse failed to work. Where's the mouse? I remember that last time our mouse failed to work. It's yeah. Cool. The last time the last time my mouse failed to function correctly. I don't know why. There we go. Now my mouse is working. All right, that was weird. We All right, well, stop working again. Why is it not working again? Okay, now it's working again. Yay! Uh, you walk into the cave of the uh, of the dragon, and it seems kind of undisturbed. Um, walking into the main antechamber of uh, of the dragon, you notice piles upon piles of what appear to be uh, armor and and just treasure uh, lie there in the antechamber. And in the middle of the chamber is the unmistakable sign of a very large white dragon who seems to be resting there. <laughs> okay. I suggest that we not uh, rouse him from his sleep, lest he is grouchy in the morning. Well, what do we want to do? Just rest here, come back when he wakes up? I mean, does he have an alarm oh, clock he, or what? <laughs> We could rest because then at least if he does wake up and finds us there, obviously he knows we've been, we've waited for him, and we're not being disrespectful or anything. Are going to try and attack you in his sleep? Somebody do a history check. History check. Eleven. I think mine's, <coughs> mine's plus seven. Let me try. History. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Twenty-three. Greg, you've heard stories of dragons who can sleep for weeks or even months on end. <sighs> Uh, Does uh, twenty-five glean any more information? Nope. Same information. We don't, by any chance, have a good enough connection with uh, El Dragano over there to just be like, "Hey, buddy, you mind waking up and talking to us for a little bit?" I say, uh, party. Uh, hey, um. We kind of did him a favor with Wes. Oh, by the way, he thinks Wes is dead. So, okay. no, we right. bring him up. Um, we did him a favor. He did his one back. He said we're even. So... He uh, might be interested in all of this, then. While you guys are doing that, you notice that the breathing of the dragon has changed, and he seems to be inhaling purposefully now. Uh, Hello? Dragon, I apologize uh, that we have not learned your name, but we uh, have... The dragon's, the dragon's eyes open, and they immediately... Um, his head sort of wobbles around a bit, but then he sort of focuses on Kathleen, and he goes, Why do you smell like a dragon? That is the matter we have come to discuss with you. And it is, um, I am afraid, rather urgent... Though you have said, though you said at our previous meeting that we were even, we would, well, we would like to ask of you a favor. A favor? I can't do that with fucking ice cream truck in the background. A favor. Favor. Does that favor happen to include Rocky Road ice cream? <laughs> yes. Much as you could eat. <laughs> oh my god. I want the image of the dragon distracted by a, like an ice cream truck driving by. <laughs> a a safe. Safe. Uh, wait, one second. Come back here, Mr. Ice Cream Man! <laughs> <laughs> a favor? What favor would you have of me? And he seems to more be focusing and, and talking to directly to Kathleen rather than anyone else and sort of smelling her drink, confused as to what's going on. Yeah, well, uh, you. dragon... I, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Does he have one? Hang on. Do you have one, Dragon? He, do, he does, but it's in, it's in an older document. Let me uh, go find it. Your name is Wiggles. Your name is Wiggles. My name is Cornetto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are those who call me Whippy. <laughs> My name is Orange Peels. <laughs> <laughs> Spanky. Is it, my name is Spanky. Spanky, that's right. <laughs> Why? My name I'm is... So he, speaks, he speaks to Kathleen in Primordial, and he says, uh, My name is Verl Kalundith. I'm. I, I use root understanding 
at this point, as soon as I hear him speaking primordial. All right, good luck with that. Well, Fern, what was it? Fern Corl. V e r l. Coolndith. C o l u n d y t h. Fern Condult. Kyle Columbus. I'm going to call him Bernie out of character, <laughs> but assume I'm calling him his real name. Vrol okay. So. Alright, uh, Vern. Uh, the reason I smell like a dragon to you is because I seem to have unwillingly gone through some sort of ritual that is uh, cursing me into and ha- start developing features of dragons. And... I want to know if perhaps you know anything about this. You, uh, you wanted to ask him if he knew anything about your... This transformation. Oh. And I'm going to very hesitantly show him the uh, the mark. Uh, he looks at it and he goes... It smells like Bahamut. Is that good? He snarls at you and says, I know nothing of this. Leave me be. Okay, well, that's fair enough. But one thing we also wanted to ask, and I'm going to motion to Dother. Actually, can a... I, since I can speak Draconic, can I kind of address him like a sign of respect sort of thing in his own language? Do you want to? You got mm-hmm. something to say? You got something well, to say. Well, I was just gonna. <clears throat> I was gonna say that wasn't the favor we were asking for per se, though we thought you may know have some knowledge of it. The favor we ask is an old enemy. We're looking to deal with Owain, and we need a creature of power to assist us. He looks at you confused. This dragon is too young to speak Draconic. I I, 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 really, I relay what Gav said in Primordial to him. Uh, you don't understand what Gav said. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right, right. I'm, I'm just gonna say, say I'm just gonna oh. say it in English. Yeah. Stupid dragon, learn your language. Out of character. There is a- <laughs> in character. No. <laughs> okay, and what are you saying? There is a de- there is a death knight that we have att- that we have met with as an enemy on several occasions who is trying to attack those that we care about. Well, the dragon so we does meet common, and he says, well, why does this concern me? His response. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Well... Yes, that was his response. Thank you, Sketch. Well, well so, I was... I wanted Delta to reply, actually. I don't interject. Well, the reason that your previous captor, you know, the madman who did horrible things to you. The reason why he sought you out was because he was also an enemy of this undead creature and believed that you, uh, if, you were, if you were under his control, would be able to destroy him. And we believe that you might be able to assist us, although we would no- do no such thing as attempting to restrict your freedom. Do you want me... To kill the enemy of my enemy. Hmm. This man, this man is an, as much of an enemy of, enemy of you, if not more so, than your previous captor. Your previous captor was working underneath this man's influence, and indirectly, he was trying to control you. If you want to go through that angle, I don't know any of that. Bluffing in terms of in terms of trying to persuade him. Otherwise, it's just he's just sort of sitting there, confused as to wondering what his benefit. Is. He goes, well, "What? But what benefit is this of me to help you?" Well, the Death Knight that we speak of, Owain, owns owns a, a great keep, which there in which there are many supplies, any of which that we find will be yours once he is destroyed. You are free to take anything there as, as you wish. Make an insight check. Insight, okay. 23. 
Uh, you remember that O'Wayne was the one who was shipping these small black boxes that were attached to the oh, various right, right, right. bags. Oh, right, right, right. And you could sort of maybe use that. Okay. Also. 